Hello, everyone. I'm Nikita Joshi, and I'm a PhD student at the University of Waterloo. Today, I'll be presenting our work titled Constrained Highlighting in a Document Reader Can Improve Reading Comprehension, which was done in collaboration with my advisor, Dan Vogel. So highlighting is a very common active reading strategy, and it has been hypothesized in psychology that there are two main benefits as to why highlighting helps us remember text from a document. First of that, by thinking about whether something is actually worth highlighting, we think about the text more, which helps us remember it more. And the second theory is that by creating highlights, we are visually isolating from the rest of the text, which helps us remember it more. Um, unfortunately, many people really struggle to highlight effectively and to really reap these benefits. And I don't know about any of you, but I know that I have sometimes gotten so engrossed and uh, into my highlighting that eventually I look up from my page and my page looks a little something like this. And so this is a very common pitfall. A lot of people tend to over highlight their documents. Uh, for example, if they use highlighting as a concentration strategy rather than an effective studying tool. So if your page looks a little something like this, you can't really reap these benefits of thinking about what is worth highlighting and to see some visual isolation of highlighted text versus non-highlighted text. So some prior work has looked at teaching people effective highlighting strategies. Uh, for example, by teaching people self-regulation strategies in addition to uh, highlighting strategies. So by teaching students uh, self-regulation strategies, uh, they were encouraged to kind of reflect on their highlights and revise their highlights accordingly um, so that they were a bit more targeted with what they were highlighting. Uh, but this was a lengthy process. And so we couldn't help but notice that we are oftentimes highlighting documents in document reader software and putting our HCI hats on, we can actually leverage the design of document readers, uh, particularly constraints to help us uh, almost encourage the self-regulating behavior naturally through the software. So instead of teaching these strategies formally through self-regulation training, could we simply enforce these strategies through the use of user interface constraints? And that is exactly what our work does. So in this work, we investigate the effect of a text highlight constraint that limits how many words a user can highlight in a document reader. And we investigate the effect of this on reading comprehension. So we created a test bed document reader interface that will purposely limit highlights to 150 words. So if the user attempts to highlight more than 150 words, as indicated by this progress bar at the top of the screen, the software will notify the user that they, the, the software cannot create this new highlight and the user is forced to revise their highlights accordingly. So if they cannot create a new highlight, they need to go back and edit their existing highlights to make them a bit more targeted so that they can highlight additional text. So we conducted a large scale between subjects experiment where participants had to read a short story and they could either highlight nothing at all, an unlimited number of words, or up to 150 words. 24 hours later, they returned to complete an open book reading comprehension test where they answered 20 multiple choice questions in only five minutes. So overall, our results showed that constraining the number of words to 150 words uh, led to significantly higher reading comprehension scores than highlighting nothing at all or highlighting an unconstrained number of words. We examined the feedback from participants and 38% noted that uh, the limit essentially helped them highlight less words. Uh, for example, I liked it because it forced me to only highlight the parts that I thought were the most important. And this in turn helped me understand the story and the main themes more. So that's great. That's kind of exactly what we were looking for. And looking at their highlighting activity, we could confirm that they were focusing more on these keywords and phrases. So as an example, here's a condition of the exact same paragraph in the unconstrained highlighting condition. And um, if we compare this to the constrained highlighting condition, we can see there's a pretty dramatic difference in terms of what participants were highlighting in these two conditions. Participants only hit the word limit 46 times, uh, suggesting that they were highlighting fewer words from the onset rather than retroactively editing their highlights after hitting the limit which was supported by comments like, it was something I had to constantly keep track of. 
I predicted that I would run out of words unless I used them carefully. And we noticed that participants in the constrained condition tended to highlight a lot more in the beginning of the document, while people in the unconstrained condition were highlighting a bit more consistently throughout the document. And so this meant that by focusing most of their highlights in the earlier parts of the document, they ran out of words typically halfway through the document, which led to more invalid highlighting attempts. So overall, our findings show that constrained highlighting can improve reading comprehension scores, and their highlights were in fact shorter and more focused on keywords and phrases, uh, which is recommended by uh, university learning centers, for example. And so how can we really leverage these findings and apply them in HCI? So there's several opportunities. For example, in our study, we identified a 150 words as a, uh, an optimal limit for the types of documents and the tasks that we had picked. Uh, but of course, this does not transfer and identifying the optimal level is an important uh, next step. We can also use constraints in a classroom setting to teach students better studying habits by over time enforcing uh, stricter and stricter constraints to guide people towards being better with their highlighting. And two that I wanted to highlight in this presentation are focused around design challenges of integrating constrained highlights with existing features and coming up with novel interaction techniques to uh, better suit this type of interaction of constrained highlighting. And so first, we need to acknowledge that comments are another type of annotation that people associate with documents. And so how would we um, kind of transfer this over to comments? Would the same theory apply of constraining comments? And how would we integrate this with um, the highlights and comments together? Since oftentimes in software, they are very interlinked. So one possibility is that comments and highlights have their own separate limits, or we could combine them into a single limit, uh, but both of these will uh, lead to some additional effort on the user's part of having to keep track of the number of words that they have used. We can also think of ways to make the deletion process a bit easier. One possibility is at the moment a highlight is created to indicate the level of importance through something like pressure. And then when the limit is reached, the system can automatically delete highlights that were the least important. We can also think of other ways to make highlighting more effortful to encourage people to be more selective with their highlighting. Uh, so for example, we could purposely obfuscate some of the um, some of the display so that the user can still highlight new text uh, once the limit is passed or reached, uh, but they need to put in a little bit more effort to reveal the text that has been highlighted. So to summarize, we propose integrating a text highlight constraint into document readers to help improve reading comprehension, which we were able to demonstrate through a large scale between subject experiment. Thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you at CHI and to answer your questions. Thank you.